Hi, from the Coral Gables Television Studio, I'm Leanne Moyhone. Coral Gables drivers now have a new reason to obey the law. The city's first red light safety cameras are up and running. The cameras are located at Alhambra Circle and South Lejeune Road. A 30-day warning period is now in effect for those drivers who run a red light at this intersection. Drivers will only receive a warning if they run the red light, but beginning October 23rd, police will issue citations. The photo enforcement cameras will operate 24 hours a day, capturing still images and video of red light running violations. The cameras were installed to encourage drivers to slow down and prevent injuries or crashes caused by red light runners. The city plans to install similar cameras at other city intersections. Together with the Alliance for Aging, the city is offering a limited number of senior taxi discount coupons to residents 65 years of age and older. This is a pilot program funded by the Partners for a Livable Community and is operated through the city's Senior Services Division. Coral Gable senior residents can purchase senior taxi discount coupons at the Youth Center during regular business hours. Each coupon is worth $5 in taxi charges and can be redeemed only with the Coral Gables Taxi Company. No other taxi company will accept the coupons. Coral Gables taxi drivers will accept the coupons just like cash for any regular taxi service. A minimum of four $5 coupons are available for sale at a 50% discount price of $10 a $20 value. The individual or combined coupons can be used anytime and expire December 31, 2009. If successful, the program will be expanded in the future. And it looks like you'll have to wait a few months to take a dip in the Venetian pool again. Beginning November 2nd, the pool will be closed for renovations. Contractors will make repairs to the floor, walls and deck of the pool, make improvements to the chemical treatment system and circulation network, add an ADA wheelchair lift and restore the pool's iconic Venetian poles. The work is scheduled for completion just in time for peak swimming season during the summer months. A reopening date will be announced as the project nears completion. For the first time in its television history, our own Coral Gables Television has been nominated for an Emmy Award by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. CGTV made the list of nominees for the 2009 Suncoast Regional Emmy Awards in the category of Public Current Community Affairs for its special report, Drink, Drive and Kill. This 20-minute program analyzes drunk driving in the city of Coral Gables and documents the police department's efforts to stop drunk driving in the city. Also making television history for Coral Gables is the selection of CGTV as a second place winner in the National Association of Telecommunications Officers and Advisors Excellence in Government Programming Awards. The award was judged on the station's variety of programming quality throughout the year. Coral Gables Television produces a series of original programs such as What's Happening Coral Gables, Historic Homes of Coral Gables, Golden Gables, On the Scene, Coral Gables Now, and of course, News Desk. Congratulations to everyone in our CGTV crew. City officials and residents were on hand at the recent ribbon-cutting ceremony of the Coral Way and Segovia Street Roundabout. The ceremony commemorated the completion of this traffic calming measure after six beautiful royal palm trees were planted and additional landscaping and lighting were installed. The roundabout has eased the commute during rush hour at this busy intersection. Funding for this roundabout came from road impact fees at a construction cost of approximately $700,000. And that's all the news we have for you today, but before we go, we'd like to share something special with you. Every year, city employees volunteer to distribute candy to the young children who attend the daycare next door to First United Methodist Church. And the children, dressed in their Halloween costumes, walk through Coral Gables City Hall to trick or treat. So we'll leave you with some images from the Halloween celebrations at City Hall. I'm Leanne Morejon. Thank you for watching.
Hey, here you go. Come on. 